Hi crafters, this is Cindy B with Mrs. B's craftroom.blogspot.com here today on uh, as guest designer on the Bug Bites. Thanks Pam for the opportunity to be a designer again on your blog. I'm having a great time doing this and also watching the other featured designers. I'm learning a lot. So today we're going to be creating a card using the Cricut Cartridge Robots. As the uh, main focal of the card, you'll see when I put the gypsy, t when we do it on the gypsy, you'll see that we're also using the cartridge Fabulous Finds um, as the base for our cards. But let's go ahead. Let's see. We're going to be using the robot um, number 23 on the keypad. And we'll be cu cutting all the features and things out on the um, gypsy. But I wanted to show you in the book where we're <clears throat> getting the, the, the uh, cut from. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. All right, now I've already started the card. What I'm going to do is zoom in here on the screen so you can see the actual pieces that I'm putting together. So the first piece that I selected right here um, as the card base is from the Fabulous Finds cartridge. And it's basically, <clears throat> if I go, excuse my, my cough, I've got had a, a severe head cold, so hopefully... It won't bother us today, but um, on the Fabulous Finds cartridge, on this feature here, if you can see that, I'm using this as my card base. So I've selected that image already, and I've put it on the mat, and what I've done is for the first piece of the card, I left the circle in, I copied, using the copy key on the advanced tab, I copied another one of that image and then I went into the hide contour feature and I removed the circle so see if I push show the circle will come back and if I push hide the circle goes away so I removed the circle so that it won't cut so I've actually created a card front and a card base I've scooched the two together and I've welded them together so if I select those they're welded and I've also selected um, from the robots cartridge the robot base and I have welded him into the center of the card Let me go a little bit if you can see him so he's welded into the center of that circle so now when I hit the preview key for the card it will show us that it will cut the card with the little image welded inside but it's not going to cut the pieces outside of the circle area so it's basically going to weld him into that circle creating the card base which is exactly what I wanted now what I also wanted to do was to create a matte layer to layer inside of this card so I basically copied this one again and just the one that has the circle removed and laid it over here on the other side of my mat so when I cut that it will just be a square and it will layer inside of the card now in order to create the, the little the little pieces here for the robot I've created a second layer so if we go to that second layer you'll see that here's the actual robot base which is the same he fits right inside that card right there he fits right there and then I have selected all of his little layer pieces and I have added them over here to the side and so I will be cutting each of those out in a different color so that we can layer those and put the to put together the robot all right so I think what I'm gonna do is go cut this out and I'll be right back and we'll put this card together Okay, here we've cut out the main um, base layer of the card, and actually I've already scored the card, and I went ahead and added some white highlighting around the edges, but you see that where the robot has been cut and welded into the circle of the card, so it gives us a place to actually layer our robot. So when the card is folded, we have a little um, a hole in the center of the card with the robot peeking out. And then I also have the mat that I've cut out of green card stock and that will be layered right inside of the card so when we have the robot layered on we have a little bit of a background for him so let's go ahead and adhere that layer All 
right. Now I have gone ahead and put together um, all the layer little pieces for the robot. He is really quite tedious. Um, and the pieces are very, very small. So I went ahead and cut everything out. I added um, some highlights with a black gel pen, some highlights with the white gel pen. And also I put this little, um, uh, what do you call that? Gizzard thing. I don't know what that thing is. Gear, a gear, up on uh, a pop dot so it stands up a bit. And then we will put him on the front of the card like this. And, oh, he's so cute. It's turning out to be a, such a cute card. I think I'm going to use my, whoops, one of my little pieces fell off. I think I'm going to use the Martha Stewart glue pen for this. Since the robot is hmm, oddly shaped, and I'm afraid the ATG will mess him up. I'll go ahead and add the glue. And I'm going to open that up so I don't get glue on the back side of the card. Turned out so cute. Such a cute little robot card. Now, one of the really fun things, I like to embellish my cards a bit. So what I want to do is add some eyes onto the robot. I know that they cut out on the cardstock. See, they cut out little eyes. But I'm going to go ahead and add, um, I buy these at Michael's. Um, they come in different sizes, but I like the black ones. They don't sell the black ones by themselves. You have to buy them with either white or orange. So, you know, oh well, I wish they'd come out with just black by themselves. But what I do is I will take off a little one. Now, his little eyes look like they're two different sides, sizes. So we're going to go ahead and put the smaller one on here. And then I'll put a little larger one on the other side. So he's kind of got two different shaped eyes, but I think it adds um, a little bit more dimension to the card. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add a ribbon. And let's see, let's go ahead and let's see, let's go ahead and tie that. We're just going to put a ribbon around the side here. And cut off our ends. Let's add a birthday stamp to this. This is uh, white ink from Paper Tray Ink. And let's see, let's stamp birthday wishes. So cute. What do you think? All right. And that is the robot's card today using our gypsy and the robot's cartridge and fabulous finds. Thanks for joining us. And if you'd like to have the cup file or the uh, gypsy file, I will have it posted on my blog. Thanks crafters and have a great day.